Safety first bathrobe, in case the water's too hot when you sit down. What a brain! Coronation grandeur begins to occupy the minds of the court dressmakers, and gowns such as this creation of Norman Hartnell's will be worn by the great ladies of the land in Westminster Abbey next May. But the gown itself will be almost lost under the magnificence of a robe with which Dame Fashion has little to do. Tradition sets the standard, and even the details of a peeress's coronation robe, fabric, measurement and cut, are all dictated by the president of centuries. Tiaras, not coronets, shimmer in the hair. This mannequin carries the distinguishing marks of a countess, three rows of black tails on her ermine cape, one and a half yards of crimson train trailing the ground behind her. A duchess's coronation robe was displayed by Revillon Frere at a reception held for the Rainbow Charity Ball, at which, appropriately, the Duchess of Gloucester will be present. The jewels worn by this lovely would-be or should-be duchess are valued at 30,000 pounds. Mark the kirtle or enveloping garment of crimson velvet edged with miniver. And when she turns to sweep with magnificent poise through the gilded salon, observe that her train is two yards in length behind her and that there is an extra row of black tails on her ermine cape. And in her final statuesque pose, what a brave and superb figure for the scene of coronation.